Hey guys, it's Adon, also known as Cookie Monster, and you're watching Trend or End, where I test out some of the latest trends blowing up in the internet and tell you if this will last or if it's just another fad. So you may think that baking is just reserved for the kitchen, but I beg to differ because beauty baking has been all over magazines, on the internet, everywhere. It's sort of the opposite of contouring. I feel like it's just like another name for strobing basically. So strobing and baking is basically like highlighting your face. So after you apply your foundation, you get some powder and you put them on your cheekbones, on your nose, your forehead, on your cupid's bow, basically anywhere where you want to highlight or make it stand out. You let it set on your face for 10 to 30 minutes. No baking your face, don't worry. You just let it set and then you have a nice glowing complexion. So I'm gonna start off with a primer. I'm using the Neutrogena Shine Control and this is like the best primer, I swear to you I have it. So I'm gonna be putting that in the back of my hand and I'm putting it on with my fingers. So only put very little. I'm putting little dabs and then less is more, so only a little bit. <laughs> and maybe down the neck too, just in case. You wanna put foundation down there. And now I'm getting this foundation. This is the Revlon Airbrush Effect Foundation. Remember, less is more. So now that we have our foundation and primer, I'm gonna be heading towards the big finale, the finisher, the powder. So I'm actually gonna be using this brush instead. I'm gonna be putting a little bit on. Less is more does not apply to this step. So I'm gonna be putting on a lot. I'm so scared that this is gonna be cakey. Okay. Oh my gosh! Maybe underneath the eyebrows. So remember that you're actually gonna be putting on a lot right now and you're gonna be sweeping off the excess later. So don't worry if you look kinda clownish. And now you're gonna let this sit for around 10 to 30 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, that was 30 minutes. So now we still look crazy, as you can see, but we're gonna be taking off the excess powder. So we'll see if this actually works. I'm kind of scared, I feel like it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna kind of sweep it off. I feel like you could use like any brush to sweep it off, actually. Wow, I'm actually so surprised. Beauty baking, trend it or end it? <sighs> well, it does look really good on camera and it does also make you look a little teeny tiny bit cakey and I do prefer strobing a little bit more so I'm gonna say end it. I feel like this look is a, it's a little teeny tiny bit cakey. I mean like you can, like you can apply it all different kinds of ways and it probably wouldn't be cakey. But for me, I personally think that it's cakey. I really don't like the cakey look. I would say that baking is way better for pictures because in pictures you can't really see that you're cakey and um, it does look really good. Like I'll admit that, like it does have a really nice highlight glow kind of effect. So what do you guys think about beauty baking? Do you like it? Do you think it looks good on camera? Maybe you could try it in real life. Tell me what you guys think down below and also make sure to like it and subscribe. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.